people of walking here we are standing here to declare the good news that Jesus Christ loves you for Jesus is coming back very soon to judge the living and the dead the question is are you ready my brother my sister because any time can come without Jesus you will die in your sin because Jesus Christ is the way the life and the truth no one can go to heaven except through Jesus Christ because only Jesus died on the cross of Calvary and no one else died and is coming back very soon for everyone and that's why today Jesus loves you very much you will believe when you land up in hellfire yeah so because there is a place called heaven and there is a place called hell you believe it you don't believe it that's up to you because you and I we are created in the image and in the likeness of God because when you die you go to two places one is called heaven and one is called hell and just know there's a gentleman who said I don't believe it but when you die and you land up there in hell fire you will automatically believe and that's where Jesus Christ doesn't want your soul to perish he doesn't want you to land up in hell fire and that's where Jesus Christ came for everyone he came for you he came for me he came for everyone that without God you will die in your sins and that's where he is coming back very soon he's coming for everyone my brother my sister and that is the good news that he loves everyone and that is the gospel that we are here standing and preaching that Jesus Christ loves everyone and is coming for everyone the question is are you ready are you ready because we are running out of time time is not on our sides today you say I don't need God but one thing you need to understand you and I we are created in the image and in the likeness of God God is the one who created it you have been created in the womb of your mother it was God who created you and that's why today you need God without God you will die and that's why today we are here to preach the gospel about Jesus Christ that he still loves you he still loves you very much and his concern over your soul the Bible says what a man if you profit the gain the whole world or what a man can give an exchange of his soul and that's why we are running out of time look at what is happening in the world wherever you see there is confusion wherever you see there's flood look at what happened in Mecca in Saudi Arabia from two days it is flooding my brother look at the war which is happening at the moment look at the war in Ukraine look at the war which is happening in Israel look at people dying every minute every second in the hospitals life is not sure life is not guaranteed tomorrow you also can die but the question is when you die where are you going Many people do not know when they die, where they go. But the good news is that Jesus Christ has spoken about life eternal. And that's why today he is looking upon you, he is looking upon me, my brother, my sister. Because he loves you, the attributes of God is only love, not hate. Because if you love, you will obey his commandments. And that's what the Bible says. Because you and I, we are created in the image and the likeness of God. Because God is love and he loves you very much. Because he is concerned over your life. No one can love you as how God can love you, my brother, my sister. Because the love which you are looking for is a temporary love. But the love of God is eternal. And he demonstrated his love. By dying on the cross of Calvary by shedding his precious blood. And Jesus Christ is coming back very soon for everyone. That without Jesus you will die in your sin. Because everyone is a sinner. Whoever you may be, whether you are a celebrity, whether you are a rich person, whether you are a poor person, or whoever you are one thing, the Bible says that all have sinned and fall shortage of the glory of God. Only God is holy and that's why we need him. We need him in our life. Without him you will die. And when a person dies, there are two places where a person goes. One is called heaven and one is called hell and both are real. Today you say, oh, I don't believe in such a place over there. But there is a place called heaven and there is a place called hell. Because the Bible clearly speaks of two people. One was the rich man and one was the beggar called Lazarus. It's clearly mentioned in the Gospel of Luke. And both lived a life on this planet earth. The rich man lived a very nice life. You know clearly but one day both of them died. And the Bible says that Lazarus was in the bosom of Abraham where the rich man was burning in hell fire. My brother and sister and God doesn't want you to land up in hell fire because it was not created for you. It was created for Satan and his fallen angels. Because God is a good God, he looks after you. That's why when he created, he said everything is good. 
It was only the devil that corrupted this world and that's how evil came into this world. That's why today God loves you very much. We are here to declare the gospel in the last days because life is not guaranteed. Life is not sure any time from now. Come today, my brother, my sister. Jesus loves you very much. He's concerned over your soul. He wants to change your life. He can heal you of your sickness, your diseases. And that's why Jesus Christ came for everyone. He came for you. He came for me. My brother and sister, we are running out of time. Because life is not guaranteed. Life is not sure. Whether you are young, whether you are old, you can die any time from now. You can die tonight. You can meet up with an accident. You can die while sleeping in the bed. You can be killed. You can be stabbed. Anything can happen, my brother, my sister. That's why today Jesus loves you very much. We are here to declare the love of God. We are not here to relate to speak of religion because religion takes you nowhere. Relationship takes you, and that's only through Jesus Christ. Because only He is the way, He is the life, and He is the truth. There is no other truth because God is holy. Come today, He is calling you, my brother, my sister. Do not turn away because He loves you very much. You may say you don't need Jesus. But tomorrow when you die and land up in hell fire, you will be burning like a barbecue, roasted up and down. And one thing you need to understand, in hell fire there is no mercy, there is no repentance. Because once you die, you die forever. You live, you live forever. That's why come today. Come today, my brother. Come today, if you die, you can die any time from now. Jesus loves you very much. Jesus is concerned over your life. He is the one who died for you on the cross of Calvary. He shed his precious blood and is coming back soon for everyone. Does not matter who you are. God loves you very much and that is a good news. And the good news is that without Jesus you will die in your sin. Whoever you may be, my brother, my sister. Because God cannot be mocked. What a man so shall he reap. Come, what a man if you profit against the whole world. What a man can give an exchange of his soul. Because every person is made of three elements called the body, the soul and the spirit. And when you die, your spirit leaves your body and your, whether you land up in hell or whether you land up in heaven, come today. Jesus loves you very much. Come today, my brother, my sister. We're living in a confused world. We're living in a dark world. We're living in a wicked world. We're living in an evil world. Wherever you see, there is evil. Wherever you see, there is darkness. Come, my brother. Jesus loves you very much. Without Jesus Christ, you will die. Religion cannot take you to heaven. Your idols cannot take you to heaven. By going to Gurudwara does not take you to heaven. Or going to a temple does not take you to heaven. Or by going to a church does not take you to heaven. Only Jesus can take you, my brother, my sister. He's looking upon you. He's calling you. Come away. Come. He will give you peace. Because he is the prince of peace. If you want peace, you don't have to go to the pub and drink. If you want peace, you don't have to become a drug addict. Come to Jesus, he will give you peace. He says, my peace I give unto you, not as the world can give you. Because the peace which you are looking today, in the pub or in the club, it's only a temporary peace. But Jesus can give you eternal peace. That's why today he is calling you, my brother, my sister. Do not ignore this message. Come today, Jesus loves you very much. Jesus is concerned over your life. Life is not sure. Come today. He is calling you, my brother, my sister. Come today, wherever you are, from whichever country you are, whatever may be a religion, Jesus will accept you. Because Jesus Christ came for sinners like you and me. No one is righteous, no one is holy, no one is good, except God. Because that's where today he is calling you. He is calling you by name, my brother, my sister. He knows everything about your life. He knows about your life, whatever you do in the dark. And today Jesus is calling you. you. He will change your life. He will change your story. He will move with compassion when he looks at you. Give your heart to Jesus. He can never deceive you. Give your heart to your boyfriend. One day he will leave you and go away. Give your heart to your girlfriend. She will leave you one day and go away. But Jesus said, I will never leave you nor will I forsake you. That is the love of Jesus Christ. Look at the life of Jesus if you want to know about him. When he says Jesus is a prophet, look at his life. Look at the way he lived. You will understand the love he showed. He died for you and he died for me and he's coming back very soon. 
my brother, my sister, this world is coming to an end. And one day you will die. You may be busy doing shopping. You may be busy going to the pub and the club and enjoying your life. But tonight if you die, are you sure you are going to make it to heaven? Are you sure you are going to make it to heaven if you die tonight? Are you sure? Many people, they thought they are going to live. But when the coronavirus hit, everyone died. The NHS could not save them. The power, the money could not save them. That's why come today. Jesus is calling you by name, my brother, my sister. God wants to deliver you from witchcraft power. Do not be deceived by religion. Because religion cannot take you anyway. Religion cannot take you anyway. It's only the relationship with Jesus Christ. And Jesus loves you very much. He loves the little children. He said, come. For you behold the face of my father in heaven. And today we are in Barking Station to declare the gospel. This gospel has to be preached before the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Any time from now the rapture can take place. Are you ready? Are you ready my brother, my sister? On that day when the rapture will take place. Your money, your business, your wealth cannot take you to heaven. Your charity cannot take you to heaven. Okay. Your good work cannot take you to heaven. Only Jesus can take you to heaven. Come today when there is light. Because he is the light of the world. That whoever believes in Jesus shall not walk in darkness, but walk in the light. And today he is calling you by name. He knows everything about your life. Turn away from your sinful nature. Turn away from your wicked ways and your evil ways. If you are lying, that is sin. If you are robbing people, that is sin. If you are cheating people, you are sinning. Come today. Do not be deceived by the devil. Do not be deceived by the devil. He is not your friend. He is your enemy. He wants to kill you before you can also leave. Come today. Jesus loves you very much. Jesus loves everyone, my brother, my sister. And that is the good news. And the bad news is that without Jesus Christ, you will die in your sin. And today he is calling you by name. He loves you very much, my brother, my sister. By going to heaven, you need to believe in the name of Jesus and you need to confess your sin. You don't go to heaven by killing someone or murdering someone. You go to heaven only by confessing your sins and believing in Jesus. Because he is only the way, the life and the truth. There is no other way, there is no other shortcut. There is only one way and that's only through Jesus. Come today, my brother. God loves you very much. God loves this country. God loves the king. God loves you and God loves us. Because we are made in the image and the likeness of God. He does not look at your color. He does not look at your religion. He does not look at your belief. He looks at your heart. Give your heart to Jesus Christ. Give your life to Jesus Christ, my brother, my sister, if you want to go to heaven. Because there is no other name. The salvation shall be attained other than the name of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ died for your sins. He shed his precious blood on the cross of Calvary. And only Jesus Christ is coming back. No prophet is coming back. No king is coming back. No prime minister, no president said that they're going to come back. Only Jesus said he's going to come back, my brother, my sister. Come today. Because the Bible says, only a fool in his heart say that there is no God. But there is a God who created the heaven and the earth. There is a God who is good. There is a God that loves you very much. And his name is Jesus. Jesus is not a prophet. He is God in the flesh. And today, come today. Come today. He is calling you by name. Come today, my brother, my sister. He loves everyone. Whether you are a Muslim, whether you are a Hindu, whether you are a Sikh, whether you are an atheist, whether you are a heathen, God loves you and that is the good news. Because only Jesus Christ died for you. No one else died for you on the cross of Calvary. The Bible says in the four Gospels is recorded that Jesus Christ died for you and is coming back very soon. Accept him today. For this is the day that the Lord has made. So let us rejoice and be glad because there is no other name in which man can be saved other than the name of Jesus Christ. My brother, my sister, come today. He doesn't want you to die and land up in hell fire where you will be burning like a barbecue day and night. Today you may laugh, you may criticize, but when you die, you will land up in hell fire burning like a barbecue roasted up and down. And God doesn't want you to land up in hell fire. 
because heaven is real and hell is also real it's no joke my brother it's serious business come today jesus is calling you by name jesus is interested in your life he can change your story he can change your life he can heal you of your sickness your disease the doctor must have given up upon you medication is not working on you but jesus will work because jesus cannot fail science will fail technology will fail even the vaccines which were created for coronavirus they failed even after taking the vaccine during the coronavirus many people got coronavirus and they died because everything on this planet earth will fail but jesus cannot fail my brother my sister because he healed everyone who came to him because he was moved with compassion the bible says he raised the dead he cured the lepers he healed the sick and he casted out demons today if you are inflicted with demons come jesus can deliver you he can set you free from witchcraft power he can set you free from the generational curse come my brother my sister god loves you very much god loves you very much without jesus christ you will die in your sin without jesus christ you will land up in hell fire come today he loves you very much he is the resurrection he is alive the whoever believes in him though he die he shall live come today my brother my sister heaven is a beautiful place for you heaven is a beautiful place for you and for me heaven has been created for you and for me come today jesus wants to give you heaven jesus wants you to invite you to heaven come my brother my sister don't delay don't delay in coming to jesus give your life today because tomorrow is not guarantee no one can guarantee tomorrow no one can tell you how long you're going to live are you sure tomorrow morning you're going to wake up are you sure that tomorrow morning you're going to wake up anything can happen from now anything can happen from now my brother my sister come wake up from your sleep come back god loves you like the prodigal son come back to god he loves you very much that is the love of jesus christ for you to go to heaven or to paradise you don't have to kill anyone Life. my brother my sister She's you need to confess and believe you will know who is a liar when you land up in hell fire you will know it my brother don't worry about that don't bring judgment on anyone without knowing the truth god loves everyone come today when you land up in hell fire you will know who is a liar who is the truth because there is only one truth this one and there is only one truth and that's only jesus christ because he is the way he is the life and he is the truth my brother my sister come today he is calling you by name he loves you very much he is concerned over your life come today come today jesus is calling you people at the bus at the bus station he loves you very much give your life to jesus he will never disappoint you give your life to jesus he will never leave you give your life to jesus he will change and transform your life because jesus is not a prophet he is god in flesh he suffered and he died for you and is coming back very soon only jesus said he is coming back my brother my sister only yeshua he is coming back my brother my sister is coming for everyone every eye will see come today my brother my sister do not delay in coming to jesus do not delay in giving your life to jesus we are running out of time any time from now the rapture can take place the question is are you ready are you ready we are living in a busy world we are living in a world of confusion we are interested in ourselves but what will happen to your soul what will happen when you die my brother my sister do you know what is going to happen when you die when you die your soul and your spirit will leave your body and there are two places when a person will go one is called heaven and one is called hell and both are real we are living in a world of reality and not in a world of fantasy come today he is the savior he is the messiah and he is the soon coming king without jesus christ you will die in your sin without jesus christ your soul will be lost without jesus christ you will land up in hell fire where you will be burning day and night come today my brother god loves you very much god is interested in your life he can change your life you. give your life to jesus today 
do not think of tomorrow because tomorrow is not guarantee tomorrow is not guarantee that you will wake up from your sleep you can anything can happen from now you can die with an accident you can get a heart attack and die you can be stabbed while you are in a pub or in a club look at the crime look at what is happening look at the war that is taking place my brother every minute and every second many people are dying in the war many people are dying in the hospitals many people are committing suicide because of depression many people are dying homelessly my brother my sister come today god loves you god loves you very much he is the one who can change your life he is the one who can change your story turn away from addiction turn away from drugs come back to jesus he will love you because jesus christ came for sinners like you and me my brother my sister jesus loves you he came for drug addicts he came for alcoholic he came for people who are living in sin if you are committing sin come back to god jesus loves you very much my brother hallelujah believe in jesus he can save your soul white it's like yeah this one read this one jesus christ our best friend yeah okay. because he said i do not call you servant i call you friend and there is a best friend and his name is jesus he is your best friend because in the gospel of john 15 the bible says on that day you will not call me servant i will not call you servant but i call you friend jesus is your friend he is your best friend he is a true friend he is a friend that will not break your heart come today my brother jesus loves you very much jesus loves everyone and jesus christ came for everyone we are not here to preach about hate we are not here to preach about hate my brother we are here to preach about love because god is love the attributes of god is love and today we love you very much no matter what religion you follow no matter what beliefs you are no matter what is your cultural background no matter whether you are white whether you are black whether you are yellow whether you are blue god looks into your heart give your heart to jesus it has nothing to do with color come my brother jesus loves you very much jesus is concerned over your life only jesus can change your story my brother only jesus can change your story only give your heart to jesus today give your heart to jesus give your heart to your boyfriend he will leave you one day and go give your heart to your girlfriend she will rob all your money and run away give your heart to your partner she will leave you one day and go away but jesus said i will never leave you nor forsake you that is the assurance that jesus has given each one of us who accept him the bible says for those who accept him he give them power to be called the children of god you are a child of god you don't belong to the devil my brother you don't belong to satan you belong to god god loves you because he has created you it is not science has created you it's not evolution that created you you have been created in the image and in the likeness of god and god is good because when he created everything in the book of genesis he said it is good it is good when he created the light he said it's good when he created the plants he said it's good when he created the animals he said it's good when he created man he said it's good then who made it evil it was satan who turned good into evil and how did evil come when adam and eve listened to satan in the garden of eden and that's how my brother evil came into the world and that's how we see evil that's how we see wickedness that's how we see darkness wherever you see there is evil one person is killing another person they are murdering one another they are stabbing one another look at the war look at the floods look at the earthquakes look at the famine look at what is happening in the countries my brother my sister what do you understand that jesus is coming back very soon and that's why jesus revealed in the gospel of matthew chapter 24 he said look at the signs you will know for the son of man is coming nation will fight against nation there will be famine there will be pestilence come my brother jesus loves you very much sir jesus loves you very much that is a good news and the bad news is that the world is perishing the bad news is that without jesus christ you will die in your sin and you will land up in hell fire because there is only one way and that way is only through jesus Your money cannot save you. Your charity cannot save you. Your business cannot save you. 
your boyfriend or your girlfriend cannot save you on the day of judgment. Everyone will stand before God. And Jesus will judge the living and the dead. Come today, my brother, when there is hope. Do not ignore this message. Do not ignore this gospel. You are busy with this world. You are busy with your life. But one day, this world will come to an end. Everything will grow dark. One day, this earth will stop revolving. One day, everything will come to a standstill. And one day, you will die. You will die whether you are young, whether you are old. People in the coronavirus, they died. They never expected they are going to die in coronavirus, but they died. The virus killed everyone. They took the vaccine, but still they died. Because life and death is in the hands of God. It's not in the hands of medicine. It's not in the hands of vaccines. It is in the hands of God. Because you have been created in the image of God. God is the one who creates you. God is the one who determines how long you have to live on this planet earth. Come today, my brother. God loves you very much. Jesus loves you very much. Do not ignore this message. Do not ignore the gospel. My brother, my sister, we are running out of time. At Barking Station today, we are here to declare that Jesus still loves you. Only Jesus can love you like no one else. No one else can love you like how Jesus, because the love of God is not selfish, my brother. Oh, you give a headache. We headache. demonstrated. Don't worry, you will get headache later, my brother. Come today. Come today, when you land up in a fire, you will get a headache over there. And there is no way coming back. There is no repentance in the grave. There is no repentance in hell. There is no mercy in hell. Come today. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you, my brother, my sister. Come today. No matter which country you come from, Jesus loves you very much. Whichever country you come, Jesus loves you very much. That is the good news, my brother. The good news is that Jesus loves you. From wherever you come, whatever may be your life, you may be a celebrity, you may be a Hollywood actor, you may be a Bollywood actor, you may be a football player, whoever you may be, you may be the most richest person. But one day you will die. And when you die, you will take nothing and go. All your wealth, you have to leave. Because when you die, you will leave all your wealth. My brother, my sister, you will be buried in a six, six feet coffin. They will bury your body and you will take nothing that whatever you have earned in your life. Do not run back of riches. Do not run back of wealth because one day when you die, you have to leave everything. You may be the most richest person. You may have five houses. You may have five cars. You may be a celebrity, but when you die, you have to leave everything. You will be buried in this grave of six feet grave. You will be buried because naked you came from the womb of your mother. Naked you will go back into the dust. Your wealth, your money, nothing will take you to heaven, my brother, my sister. Come today. Jesus loves you very much. Jesus Christ died for your sins and is coming back very soon. Believe in the name of Jesus Christ. Believe in the name of Jesus Christ. For he is calling you by name, my brother, my sister. We are running out of time. Time is not on our side. Time is not on our side. The world is coming to an end. And you are also coming to an end. Any time from now, you can die. You can die tonight. You can die tomorrow. Or you can die after a month. But one day you will die. Because no man is lived for eternal. One day you will die, whether you are young, whether you are old, whether you are healthy, whether you are strong, whether you go to the gym, does not matter. My brother, come today. Jesus loves you very much. Jesus is concerned over your life. Because Jesus Christ came on one mission to save and save the lost. He came for people like you. Jesus Christ was known as the friend of sinners. He was known as the friend of tax collectors and prostitutes. My brother, no one is holy. No one is holy. That's why we need God. Because the God of the Bible is holy. The God of the Bible is holy. No other way you can see that God is holy. The God of the Bible it says, be holy as I am holy. We all are sinners, my brother, my sister. Because every time we have lied, we are cheated. We are killed. We are murdered. We are robbed people. We are manipulated. We have done a lot of stuff. That's sin, my brother. If you're having sex before marriage, that is sin. Having four wives, that is sin. 
That is adultery, my brother, my sister. Because the Bible says a man shall leave his parents and be united with his wife. You cannot have four wives and say that is okay. My brother, my sister. You cannot have sex before marriage and say it is okay. That is sin. You cannot go to the pub and drink and say it is okay. That is not okay, my brother. You cannot smoke. You cannot take drugs and say it is okay. I live my life however I like. But when you die, where are you going? How many of you know that if you die, you are making it to heaven? How many of you know that if you die tonight, that you are going to heaven? Are you ready to go to heaven? Come today, my brother. If you are in a doubt, come today. Jesus will save your soul. Jesus loves everyone. That is a gospel. Look at the life of Jesus Christ. Look at the four gospels of Jesus Christ. Look at his life. How he lived. Live. Look at his life, my brother, my sister. He says, love your enemies as love yourself. He says, pray for those who spit at you. And when Jesus Christ died on the cross, what he said? He says, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. That's how with the love of God, my brother, my sister. And today, Jesus loves you very much. Jesus is concerned over your life. Only he can change your story. No one can change your story. No one can heal you. No one can understand you. No one can take away your pain. For every problem, there is a solution. And Jesus loves you very much. Jesus loves people of barking. Jesus loves everyone. That's why we are here to promote love. We are not here to promote hatred or bitterness or envy or jealousy because that comes from the devil. God is love. God loves you very much. And today he is looking upon you. Whether you will accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. We are running out of time, my brother, my sister. Time is not on our side. Come today. You are busy with your life. You are busy with your life. But what is going to happen tomorrow? If you die tonight, are you going to make it to heaven? If you die tonight, are you going to make it to heaven? You are busy running. You are busy enjoying your life in the pub, in the club. You are dancing, discos. You are having everything. But if you die tonight, are you sure you are going to heaven? Are you sure? Where will you spend eternity? Where will you spend eternity? Because this life which you and I we are living is only a temporary life, my brother, my sister. This life which you and I are living is a temporary life. And one day you will have to exist this body. One day you will die in your sins. Come today. Because Jesus doesn't want you to die in your sins. Jesus doesn't want you to land up in hell fire. Because Jesus Christ came to save and seek the lost. He came for everyone. Whoever you may be, it does not matter to Jesus. He loves you. And that's why we are here to demonstrate the love of God. Come today, my brother, my sister. Come away from your evil ways. Come away from your wicked ways. Come today, God loves you. You can hide from people, but you cannot hide from God. Because everything that whatever you do in the dark shall be exposed. Come today, my brother, my sister. Jesus loves you very much. He loves you very much, whoever you may be. Whatever may be your religion, does not matter. God loves you very much because he didn't come for religion. Jesus Christ never came for religion. He's not a religious person. He's not a spiritual leader as what we think. And by killing one another, you don't make it to heaven. By confessing the sins and believing in Jesus, you make it to heaven. Come today. Come today, my brother, my sister. We are running out of time. Come today. We are running out of time. God loves you. God loves everyone, my brother. And that is a good news. Jesus Christ loves you very much. He's concerned over your life. He's the one who can change your story. He can change your life. He can heal you of your sickness, your disease. Come today to Jesus. Come today to Jesus. Jesus loves you, my brother. Jesus loves you, my sister. Come today to Jesus. He will accept you the way you are. Because he came for sinners like you and me. He did not come for righteous people. He did not come for good people. Because no one is righteous. No one is good. No one is perfect. Except God. And God is holy. God is holy. Whereas you and I, we are not holy. We are sinners. Have you any time lied in your life? You must have lied many times. You see, my brother, my sister, that's sin. He has cheated anyone, that is sin. Have you killed anyone, that is sin. 
Have you robbed anyone? That is sin. Come today. Jesus Christ came for people like you and me. Come today, my brother. God loves you very much. God is the one who can change your life. And today we are declaring the love of Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ loves you very much. Jesus Christ loves you very much. Jesus Christ loves you very much. And that is the good news. The good news is that Jesus Christ loves everyone. Jesus Christ loves everyone, my brother, my sister. And that is the good news today. People at parking station there who are at the bus stop eating at Dixie. Come today, Jesus loves you very much. Only Jesus can change your story. Because only Jesus Christ died for your sins. And only Jesus Christ is coming back. He is not a prophet. He is God, my brother, in flesh. He dwelled among flesh. Full of grace and truth. And today he is calling you by name. You may laugh. You may ignore God. God cannot be mocked. What a man so shall he reap. What a man if he gain the whole world. What a man can give an exchange of his soul. What can you give in exchange of your soul? Because when you die, your soul will depart from your body. Your spirit will depart from your body. And it will be judged. And today, the devil wants to take your soul to hell. But whereas Jesus wants to take your soul to heaven. And how can you go to heaven? By believing in the name of Jesus Christ. By accepting Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, you can go to heaven. Money will not save you on that day. Your business will not save you on that day. Your charity works will not save you on that day. By being a good person will not save you from hell. Come today, my brother, my sister. Jesus loves you very much. And that's why we are here to preach the gospel. The gospel is all about Jesus. He demonstrated his love. And the good news is that Jesus Christ is coming back for everyone. No matter for which country you are. The good news is that Jesus Christ loves everyone and is concerned over your life. Come today. Come today. This is the day of salvation. Come today. God loves you. God is interested in your life. He loves you very much. More than even your girlfriend. One day she will leave you and go away. Your boyfriend one day will leave you and go away. She will rob all your money and run away. But Jesus Christ said, I will never leave you nor will I forsake you. He loves you, my brother. If you want to know the truth about Jesus, read the four Gospels. He speaks about him. Don't listen to some Tom, Dick and Harry. If you want to know Jesus, read the four Gospels. It's given to you. Read the New Testament about the life of Jesus Christ. You will know what type of person was really Jesus Christ. Yeah, my brother, God loves you. God loves you, sister. God loves you very much. My brother, where are you? From India? God loves you, sir. And that's why today we are here to declare the love of Jesus Christ. We are running out of time. Do not delay in coming to God. God loves you very much. No matter which country you are from, God loves you. Whether you are from India or whether you are from Japan, does not matter. God still loves you. Come today. Come today for this is the day of salvation. For there is no other name that man can be saved other than the name of Jesus Christ. Come today, my brother, my sister. Do not delay in coming to God. Because he is looking upon you. His eyes are upon you every minute and every second. We are living in a dying world. We are living in a world full of sin. We are living in a world of darkness. We are living in a world of evil. Wherever you see around us, there is always evil. Come today, my brother, my sister. And God can change your story. Yeah, you are an evangelist. Yeah? Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. You want to speak? Okay. Oh, you finish. You finish. I finish. I finish. Yeah, you want to speak? Yeah. Yeah. You can speak. Uh, uh, you want to speak? Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen you here before. What's your name? My name is uh, Evangelist. I'm a pastor basically, but I do evangelism from, from 23 years. Huh? From 23 years I do evangelism. I haven't seen you in back before. No, no, I do, but different times. Oh, okay. Just put it here down. Yeah. yeah. Put, just uh, yes, you can just put it like you know. Just put I know, it. Yeah, I have one like this. Is, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>